Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to restore your iPhone from uh, iCloud backup. So let's get started. First thing is this method works when you are basically setting up your phone for the very first time or if you have factory reset your phone. You're going to go ahead into selecting a language and then the appearance and then do a setup quickly with option that will say set up quickly without other device and then you need to connect to the Wi-Fi so I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi here once you enter your Wi-Fi password you're gonna go ahead and join your network where you can also use your cellular data basically we need internet connection so the firm the phone can actually activate first and after that we'll show you where the iCloud backup will restore your phone from so it says takes a few minutes but it should be quick and after that we're gonna go continue here and then select whichever applies to you so I'm going to select and then face ID if you want to set it up you can you can only set it up later I'm going to do it later uh, passcode you can enter a passcode or set up later I'm just skipping the steps so I can show you the iCloud backup restore and right here where it says transfer your apps and data as you can see here the very first option says from iCloud backup so you can restore your phone from iCloud backup you're going to select that and then enter your Apple ID email or phone number so I'm going to do that and then after that go ahead and hit continue and then enter your iCloud or phone number email that's linked with that account and once you enter your password just hit continue here and then do a verification if you get a code and finally this is where you're it's going to start restoring your phone from iCloud backup we're going to hit agree and it's going to go ahead and sign me in at the same time start restoring all of the data that I had in my iCloud backup so things like photos videos messages any other data like music or anything as you can see here we're going to go ahead and choose a backup that's available with our account as you can see here I have a backup here but if you wanted to back up from another time you can also select that as well so I'm going to go ahead and pick my most recent backup here and here, as you can see here, make this your new phone. You want to go ahead and select if you want to customize things like apps or any settings that you want. It'll show you all those settings. You can customize. I'm just going to hit continue just to keep it as is. And then this is just the emergency SOS information. I'm going to hit continue. And right now, as you can see here, it's starting the process to restore from iCloud. There is basically a estimator bar again depends on how much data you have that needs to be restored this could take a couple minutes could be shorter or longer now after a few minutes my screen does change over to this color so I'm still waiting for it to restore and finally after a few minutes I'm seeing this and my phone as you can see here has been restored now as you can see here the apps are still downloading onto the device which again could take a little bit time because it's still downloading and installing that app but I can start to see all of my information from the iCloud backup. If I open my photos as you can see here there's a little iCloud icons here they're starting to download onto the phone here and as slowly it will take time it's as in the process it is going to download stuff even on my messages it will start to show up and then the other thing you want to check out is make sure your Apple account is signed in your phone and your contacts will all start to show up as well slowly and you'll see this and then if you don't see anything you'll go to your Apple account click on iCloud and then save to iCloud if a specific uh, information isn't showing here you're gonna make sure you turn on that specific app so you can see that on your phone so that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.